Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today we've got some sunshine, the mud has dried up a little bit, and we're going to get our entrance gate on the log home build site. When we bought the property, it had the 16 foot old farm gate here, and um, it was just covered up in trees and brush and everything. And I actually had to, I didn't have the key to the, all the locks that were on it um, that didn't come with the property, and I had to use the tractor to pull it out. I damaged a little bit in the process, but it's going to work just fine um, as a security gate uh, during the build process. You've seen all the videos of the trespassers coming in and out of our property. Hopefully this will be one more thing to, to help prevent that. We'll get this gate up and we're going to get some fencing that goes off each side of the gate, at least to prevent the large vehicles from coming in and also just to be a visual deterrent that, you know, that security is taking place on this property. We're leaving about 35 feet from the road to the gate. That would be enough room for, you know, for a truck to pull up uh, with a small trailer so we can get out, unlock, open the gate, and still have, you know, be off the road. We've got our materials to um, set the post. We're going to use our post hole digger, dig down. We've got some uh, quick setting uh, concrete mix. We've got a water and a mixing pan. Let's not waste any more time talking. Let's get these post holes dug and get this gate up. a hole 14 inches wide and 26 inches deep, which would be great for our 8 foot, 6 inch by 6 inch post. Y'all probably can't tell how deep that hole is, but 26 inches is pretty deep there. That was a little bit of work to do it by hand with a post hole digger, but all right, let's get this post in, get it concreted up. Y'all can probably hear our dozer in the background. That's clearing trees for our log home build site. We'll have a video on that soon. This post was already used for the gate, so I've got to make sure that I get it the same height as before, otherwise my gate won't fix. Finish. So I've got it a little deep, it's like more like 28 inches. I need to put a little fill dirt in under it so I can get it leveled with the ground where it was before. Packing the dirt below it so it doesn't settle as much. We have our post the right depth. I've got it in here. I've got it the, the angle I want. I'm going to put a little dirt in at the base to help keep it where it is. Then I'm going to level it up. Then I'm going to mix my concrete and pour it in. Welcome back. We got the post set up in the concrete. It's nice and solid, but we got rain for days afterwards. So what I went ahead and did was I put the old gate up on that old post and just secured it with a T post on this side so we could come back today. So what we're going to do today is we're going to dig the other post hole for the uh, opposing side of the gate. I want everyone to see this here. When you're mounting your, your uh, gate to your post, you can see you've got your, uh, your hinges. Well, the top hinge should be pointing down. If your top hinge points up also, yes, it is swing and it operate properly, but someone can just come over here and lift it up and open your gate and get access. Or your livestock, horses, uh, horses and cows are very, very strong. They can get their head in here and lift up and then take it right off the hinges. So you want to make sure you put your top hinge pointed down, and that will secure your gate to the post. We had this temporary T-post in here just to hold the, the gate in place, and I've got it squared up to the other post, so we're the, the correct distance from the road to here, so everything's squared up. I'm going to dig my post hole. i got to remember, I'm, I'm going to do it 14 inches wide, or at least 14 inches wide. So I got to make sure I put it far enough out to where my post is not going to be too close to my gate. It's time to get our second post in the ground. We got our hole dug 14 inches wide, 26 inches deep, and uh, we'll get it in there and get it set and get this project done. on that side is 70 inches from the ground. 
see how good this one is. 70 inches exactly. Booyah! Right. Now let's make sure the gate closes. So once I get this straight, we'll be able to see we're going to be uh, four to six inches from the gate. Pretty happy with that. There's a couple of ways we can mix this concrete. The instructions say to fill your hole up one third with water and then pour in your concrete mix and stir it around. I like to uh, pre-mix it in a pan that way I can get the right consistency. I'll pour it in that way and we'll see how it looks. Right. A third there should be good with that water. pour it in and we'll get the uh, second uh, batch made up. Go all the way around all by itself. Okay. We'll get our second batch made up real quick. Get a little water in there. More than enough. sure this thing is lined up straight with the post over there while the concrete is still thin and we'll also make sure it's straight we'll put the dirt on top and that is sure it up my uh, post there while I'm putting the dirt in. I don't want to push it to one side while I got it, got it straight. Now if I was pouring my concrete all the way to the top, I'd want to make sure I sloped it like this so water would pour off of it and not down into the wood and cause the wood to rot. Now we are using a treated 6x6, six six, but I still don't want water sitting on it. But uh, because I did have a concrete level this, you know, this much lower than the top, I'm going to make sure I slope my dirt around the top of it so the water again runs off. So this is the time to make my fine adjustments before I pa pack this down. So I want to make sure that we're still straight. It's nice and solid with that, wood, that dirt all the way up to the top there. I'm just going to give it a little shove. I'm going to push down on the side I'm packing on. And then do the opposite side. Keeping sure. I'm keeping it straight. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing in this on this axis. Alright. We have one straight gate post in the ground, concrete. Straight opposite or other side, we have our gate. We'll close our gate and see how it looks. Close the gate. Oh, that looks really good. So we're about a we're just a little over hand's width from the edge of the gate post. Now we're going to level up our gate. I'll show you how to do that. Our gate has had some time to settle since we got it on initially. So now let's look at it and see how level it is. And I bet we're hanging down a little bit on the end. We are. So it needs to come up, come up just a little bit. To adjust your gate up and down, you just have to adjust the lag bolt, the hinge bolt, 
up or down, or as you say, in or out. Well, if I go in with it, it's going to lift the end of it up. If I go out, it's going to drop it down. I'm going to leave the bottom right where it's at because I like the distance the bottom is from the post. So now I'm just going to raise this or tighten this up, bring it in, bring the end of it up. So to do that, first thing I need to do is loosen this nut right here. So I loosen about a mm, quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch is going to be a little bit of distance on the end there, you'll see. Okay, so now I just have to tighten on the other side of the lag bolt. That's going to draw that up. And once it draws it up to the nut, it's going to be tight. It's going to be uh, level. You can see the gate already started to swing because I had it supported on that end and it lifted the end up. So now the gate swung open. You keep going until I get it tight. We're almost there. We're going to see how smooth it opens on the road. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, that's tight. Make sure this one's tight. There we go. Now let's see how it swings. Really happy with how this gate turned out. We got our two posts in. We got our gate level. I got the I got the tip up just a little bit high. So whenever I take this uh, bottle off from under, it's keeping it from moving. It's going to swing naturally in the open position, and that's the way we're going to open. We drive up. We're going to unlatch it and have it swing out that way. Eventually, when we're going to put an automatic gate up here, we'll put a brand new gate and we have a decorative fence. The automatic gate will be on a remote, solar powered, and it will open that way also. I'm going to remove the bottle and we'll see how it goes. Hits the gravel just a little bit right where I want it to. So now I can swing it open, let go, and it should stay there. Again, this old farm gate is just going to be a temporary gate during the log home build construction. Once we're all done and the big trucks are coming gone, we're going to get more gravel in here. We're going to get the, the driveway prettied up, shored up with a great crown on it, and then we're going to replace this gate with a decorative gate and decorative fencing. It's going to be really nice.